it's, uh, it's a great pleasure to be here and to celebrate uh, great achievements. Um, I, I do think indeed that the key thing though, which is really important, is that uh, Tilburg is among the top institutions in Europe, uh, both in economics and in management. And I think that's uh, a key achievement, which was definitely not obvious when you think about uh, the 1980s or 1970s. Uh, the thing I must say, and uh, it has been said already once or twice, but uh, I do think there are some uh, there are important uh, successes there, at least in terms of graduate education, which we've been able to observe a little bit. Uh, I do think there is substantial effort in these, in these graduate programs, and uh, I do think that this is going to become more and more important in the, in the future. Uh, beyond that, uh, I had a couple of uh, remarks about the, uh, the uh, positioning challenges of center and the faculty. Um, the dynamics that, uh, that uh, Ari has mentioned, which is a bit of uh, in U-shaped in terms of performance in a sense, uh, I think has come with a transition in a sense from being uh, a very small place with very good people into a more integrated place, which was meant to, uh, to raise the average. And I do think, I do agree with Ari, that uh, the last period has shown that uh, indeed uh, one is becoming able to push excellence in all these different research groups. And uh, it has not come, obviously, and I don't know whether it was a coincidence or not. Uh, I, was, I was not there anyway, <laughs> so I can't judge on that whether some of the people leaving uh, had to do with difficulties in that transition, but I do think that uh, the, uh, clearly what is happening right now is that there is a broad base of really excellent people in various groups that can then uh, start uh, expanding a lot. Uh, and I think that, uh, coming back to this idea, you have to be good in everything in order to be sustainable, in that sense, it is probably the sustainable path that you want it to, to go to. Now, and we, we stressed that in our, in our report by Scientific Council last time, you still want to make sure to be able to uh, attract more stars. Uh, and because I think also there are more and more opportunities, like the European Research Council is really about that, trying to attract stars to Europe. And I think, again, you are really well placed to apply for this money, get people to apply to this money, and bring them to Tilburg with a, with a package that, uh, that would be uh, really flexible. So uh, I think one should do both. Uh, somehow raising averages is almost the most difficult, and that's being done. Adding more stars is, I think, uh, something that you want to, to consider. Now, of course, money is... Uh, is a, key, uh, is a key element. Uh, the reason why the US universities are the best is because they are the richest. Uh, in recent years, they've become uh, insanely rich, thanks to, I think, tax subsidies that allow them to beat the, beat the stock, mar stock market consistently and really build uh, huge, uh, huge endowments, plus the fact that they can charge really, really high fees. Now, I've always heard the, the idea that in a business school, uh, research is a loss maker, MBAs is breaking even, and the big money is in executive education. Now, one thing which is interesting, which is striking, is that today we are celebrating center and the faculty. And my understanding is that there is this other place called TS, if I understand, <laughs> where, the, where the money is. And I know there are some connections. Uh, I know that some people uh, here in this room teach there and so on. But one issue, and I have no expertise at all on this, but one issue is uh, uh, are there opportunities to bring the two closer so that, of course, uh, this kind of place would be able to subsidize the, the research uh, that's the name of the game uh, in places like INSEAD or London Business School where they are integrated. So just a 
food for thought. Of course, they can be very, very, very different cultures. So I'm not saying it's easy. <laughs> Beyond this, I think uh, it's already been said that NetSpar is great. Tilek, I think, is very good too. And there are others. And I do think that, indeed, there, are, there is money around for new initiative, thematic initiative, transdisciplinary initiative. And I think you probably want to go more aggressively on this. Some of the latest successes are really in that direction. But in any case, I do share the view that has been put forward in the, in the movie. I think uh, Center is a great success, so many congratulations. The world is tough out there, but I think both the Dutch higher education policy and the people here at Center are, I think, clearly up to the task. So thank you.